Hey, this is Quinn uh, with Tech Tip 11, properly installing deck hardware. Uh, right here, we're working with a with a cord deck like most boats, and to get out that coring, we needed to make a tool out of a. Uh, and you always want to save money, so we pretty much found uh, an Allen wrench that was laying around, and we ended up filing it down to a point. So you take the Allen wrench that you made here with the file down point, you uh, stick it in a drill motor, and then from there, it's quite easy to just stick it in. Hold it straight up and down, make sure to do that or else it'll fly all around. So it's that easy to get that old core out of there. Now we're gonna get in some thickened epoxy and bed those foot switches and it'll be nice and preserved for decades. And the goal is just to make it easier for the, the next guy to maintain magnets on this thing. Um, thanks for watching. All right, thanks Quinn. That was awesome about making tools and getting rid of coring in the deck where, where you guys have been working up in the Four Peak. So after you get that uh, coring material, the balsa removed, what we do is we mix up epoxy real thick like peanut butter. We use Cabasil, smooth it in around all these penetrations, and then after it cures, we can reinstall our foot switches, anchor winch, stuff like this. <clears throat> the beauty of it is, not only when you drill the holes for the foot switches, they're going through solid epoxy, but all, and so then you're never gonna get water into the core, but also it helps with compression. If you don't, if you leave that uh, core in there, that balsa, it'll flex over time, and that breaks the seal, lets water in, and of course the water goes through the whole deck. So, much better installation up in the four peak. As we moved aft, we started working on the chain plate holes, and of course those are small and narrow. So what do you do? Well, we use foil tape. I like the stuff from heating and air conditioning with the fiber in it. Super sticky, super strong. And the reason is we can't get our fingers in there. The Allen key trick still works to eat out all the core, but we can't pack that thickened epoxy in the, in the slot. So what you do is you flood it we put the tape on the bottom and make sure it's clean, it sticks. We mix the epoxy and the cabosil much thinner so it will flood and flow and make sure there's no air voids in there. And then we just use a syringe or a little Ziploc bag with a corner cut off and we fill those voids all the way up. Once it cures, same thing. We can drill the holes, we can use a, a multi-tool, cut the slots, we'll be reinstalling the chain plates. So thanks for watching.